Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the new dynamic face system that has been built into the dynamic hair and beard mod that Paul has done. What I've done um, after uh, taking many hours of work to, to, to put this together to make it a one-off download, to make it as easy as possible to download your faces and to install them. This install will not use any lower, no cheat engine, it will work on both kickoff and in your career, will work on all careers as soon as you start to put it on and is extremely easy to use. As you can see at the moment, the only mods I have is currently installed is Paul's mod and the MPR one. Yes, I know it has the triangle in the corner. This is the version, um, Hussein just updated it this morning with I've got the old version and haven't updated it yet, but will still work. Now, at the moment, we've had to use MPR as the base of this uh, mod that I'm talking about due to the fact that MPR does not have individual face mods, unlike UFM. So UFM did individual ones, which allows you to pick and choose which mods you want and which ones you don't. The reason they've done this is because at the moment, uh, there's you must have seen it if you've downloaded any face packs or any faces. There's like five different Harlands, six different Messies, three different Ronaldo. There's so many different duplicates of the same face that some people have a preference of what they want. So when it comes to Frosty, so say if there's a face in MPR that I didn't want to use and I wanted to use a UFM version, normally all you'd do is just stick the FB mod underneath and it will overwrite it. But you'd have to edit the Lua or you'd have to go into Live Editor and change it. I've gone and taken all that hassle out for you. So let's bring up what I've done. Okay, there's my FIFA. Uh, main folder, this is Paul's Dynamic version 2. We're going to copy all of them over. Yep, replace them. Okay, don't need that anymore. And then we're going to bring up the two files that I've done for us, which is the MPR and UFM faces. And we're going to go place them down there and overwrite. Now, what I've done, there's currently 51 duplicates in the game. Now, we don't want those being added in. I've taken them out for you. What I've also done is I've taken a screenshot of both the MPR version of the same face and the UFM version for all 51 of them. So all you need to do is preview them. Click left and right on your keyboard. And you can see, so if you look up in the top left hand corner, Gomez MPR, that code there is what we're going to need. So for example, let's, I'm an Arsenal fan, so let's go through to Martinelli. There we go. That's the UFM version, that's the MPR version. So at the moment, the MPR version is above on the prior on the, the list. I haven't added in all the FB files yet. So I'm going to use UFM. So all I would do is come out, go into where was it? Martinelli UFM. Rename, copy that line there. Control C to copy it. Then we're going to go back into FIFA 20, into our UFM, and these are all the other faces. And I'm going to go down to the bottom, paste, save. There we go. That's that bit done. Then I'm going to bring up the duplicate face duplicate F mods. Let's open up Frosty and I'm going to put, where is he? Martinelli. Drag it in. Yep, made for an old version, that's fine. Apply mod. Now, because I don't have Martinelli's code from MPR in there, he will not appear. 
on the NPR version. Only the UFM version that I've picked and put the code in will work. So let's quickly fire up the game. Let's reapply. There we go. Now, unfortunately, while this is all loading, I'll explain at the moment while I can't use the edit mode or edit player mode in the main menu. It's a known bug from EA that has appeared roughly round about the same time as the DLC came out that for some unknown reason will just crash um, the game. It will just shut down. Uh, Paul has tried doing everything. I've looked into it. We've tried everything we can to try and figure out why it does it. So edit play and career mode works, but um, edit play in the main menu doesn't, which is really strange. So with this system, I'm also going to be explaining and showing you how you can literally take any face, brand new face that comes out of a player that is not already in the lists that you've got, and you can add it in. And it is extremely simple to do. Now this should, we've tried to make it as user friendly as possible. Um, so you pro modders can use it. You people that are brand new at using it um, should have no problem. So I've got a bog standard career save. I've just been using just to get these the pictures. Go down to edit player. So we can see like Enketia's not in. And let's go down to Martinelli. There we go. That's how simple this version is. Like so, so simple. So I've already taken all of the original faces. So let's open up there. Let's go to, uh, there we go. Now, if you, all of them that are left in here, you just take the whole lot, copy the whole lot and just drag it over and then click apply on each one. Yes, it's a bit annoying, but it is really simple. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add a face that is not, I've only included, um, the, the, these lists and the mods are only the ones that of UFM and NPR. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to add one that is not. So I'm going to import uh, Daniel Malin. Love him in career mode. Really good. So there we go. Made by Tom, uh, one of his free ones that he did before he went to uh, to Patreon only. Apply mod. There we go. Applied. That's UFM. Let's go back to FIFA and go to other faces. And now you're thinking, okay, so what we can do here is if you click on description. That's the head ID of the player we've used, but I need to find Daniel Mullins. So let's head over. Daniel Marlin. There we go. I've already got it loaded up. So that's the ID of the player. So all I would do is, is copy that. Then do an equals. Then take that. Copy. File, save, exit out, exit out. Now let's go back and launch. Now I'm going to have to, I'll go into my save. Or I'll go back in and, and, and find him and you'll see the difference. So this will enable, there are some face collectors. Oh my God, some of you have too much time in your hands. I think that the most I've heard someone has something like 650 plus faces. Uh, I think someone once said it, once they click launch, it takes 10 minutes to launch their game due to all the faces that they have. So this is where you would have to check. 
a lot because you here's what the system will not take if you put in a face of a player that has the same id i'm not talking duplicates here i'm talking so at the moment for those who don't know uh mod makers cannot create a face out of nowhere they have to take a pre-existing face off of one player and apply that head id onto another player but if that head id has already been used for one player and then someone uses it on a second it causes a conflict or a clash which is where you get strange things so you if this system that paul has built it will not work with uh with there being clashes it just will not function um as well at what it does i just have to remember who marlin plays for he plays for a psv doesn't he Would have thought. There we go. And there we go. That's him with his new face. Let's have a closer look. And there we go. That's how easy this system is. So let's jump back out. And just show you one last time. Let's open up the, f the FIFA folder. other faces that's how easy it was so if you don't know the player's id this site sofifa.com type the player's name in let's take Saka from arsenal type in Saka. there we go there's his id so on most of the mods not all that's this is where we could really could do with face makers to do it is you, ha you need the, the ID of the head ID that you're using. If you have that, brilliant. If not, you can sometimes go down the bottom to the affected files, because that tells you the player's face who's been taken, and that tells you the head ID. So that's it. You can now add as many faces that you want. Now, do be careful. Like I said, I've already done UFM. Uh, individual pack version 2 and MPR version 5 um, so do not touch or add those lines of code into that one you have to use the other faces if they're not in those packs now one last thing is that you need to be careful is that I will not be updating this unfortunately it is too time consuming with um, so if MPR comes out with a version 6 you will have to do your own i'm sorry i just don't have the time to do it but it is pretty simple all you'd have to do is double check um that you've not got any duplicates so let's go to mp5 into the lure so if you scroll down here if you know the player's name you've got players and who it is if you can find out which of these ones is the newer ones all you'd have to do is copy them and do it exactly how it was in the other one so take out the brackets put the equals closer and take out the comma and there you go but so unfortunately i will not be able to keep up with doing this i may look at expanding and trying to create a central library for a one shop stop for a one off big thing but it is very time consuming doing this 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 took at least eight hours of work um to do and to do that after every update and for i mean this is only like 300 something faces there's over 600 it, it takes a long time to do so unfortunately this could be a one-off i may do one more i hope this helps any questions don't hesitate to ask i'm always available in paul's discord Remember to, to keep up on there for news, announcements and anything mod related. Hope you all have a great day.